Right here I have a green jig that I bought online. There's a good chance you've seen one like this before, and in fact a lot of you probably own one of these. Now I have mixed feelings about these things. I mean, yeah, they're cheap, and they can be pretty educational, but they do have some big problems. For one, they're often substantially stronger than advertised, and yes, this is a bad thing. I realize how ironic this sounds coming from me, but I mean, these things are sold as toys, so most people buying them have no idea how dangerous they can be to the c Another big issue is that they can leak a dangerous amount of invisible beam. This stems from the fact that they're driven by a powerful infrared laser diode that powers a separate laser crystal. And then the output of that is fed through a separate laser crystal. And then the output of that is fed through a powerful infrared laser diode that powers a separate laser crystal. And then the output of that powers a jig. Now in hindsight, the the uh, whatever. Classic power electronics design moment right there. Let's go ahead and cook my eyes for good measure. The melting makes some really cool patterns when the beam hits it. It's funny because I blinked several times because the idea of getting hit with a laser like this without goggles is so horrifying to me. Plus, what, 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 yeah, that actually gave a more impressive result than shooting it in my jig. Even after several seconds of direct exposure, I can still see. Wow! Wow!